A lot of people ask us what apps are good for reading books. There's many out there, and we don't cover them too often. But we're always looking for different ways to expand our video library. Top 5 lists, update change logs, and now the occasional app. But if you want the answer to a question which one is a solid choice, we'll go with BookFusion to get the job done. The biggest reason is what we'll show you in a little bit, is that this is a no Wi-Fi, no internet required cross-platform app that basically works on anything and you can just log in with your Google account. From BigMe to Onyx to VWoods and everything in between, you just sideload it on and it works. So without further ado, let's take a look at BookFusion. If you guys want to see us review more apps like this, let us know. But, you know, it's always good to try something new. So this is the home screen. It's very simple, and we have it on a VWoods right now, and we'll move into some other devices as we go. But really, the UI is insanely easy to understand. You literally have upload or libraries. If you go over to libraries, you will have a list of different libraries from all over the place, NASA, Bookstart, etc. And they tell you how many books are in each one. If you go back here and you go to Bookshelf, this is where all your content is going to be right here and you can do your uploads. Uploads is very easy. It goes off of device storage and it does PDF and EPUB. Now, why this is very good is because, as we said, if you have a phone or if you have basically any device that is logged into Book Fusion, you'll just get the same content. And we're going to move over to a Big Me in a little bit just to show you it doesn't really matter what type of device you use as long as it can handle APKs. So you just simply open it up. It downloads from the cloud account because that's where you have it stored. And then it just opens up via the read icon. From there, it just starts. I mean, it's a very, very lightweight application and it has both scrolling and page swiping. We'll show you that in a little bit. The table of contents works perfectly fine as well, and it's just very snappy. Typically on a device like a VWoods, it's not really a spec powerhouse, so it's a little bit slower. You'll need to go to ultra fast mode to really kind of boost it up, but it is as described as Book Fusion says, it's very snappy, it's very quick. Typically with most applications, you have the ability to long press, you can do all your notes, annotations, highlights, what have you. Obviously, it's going to be a drastically different experience when you go over to your phone because when you go like that, you have different colored highlights. And it will work with colored e-readers. If you have an Onyx color, it's going to function with the parameters of the color. So don't worry about that. That's totally fine. You have translation, you have web. If you have it connected, you don't need it connected for the application to function, which is the beauty of it. You will need the app connected if you want to cross-platform download your content. Of course, there's no other way to get it. You can sideload in each individual device with the same book, but if you want access to the cloud storage of your library, you will need to do that. You have a lot of different ways to change text, and this one actually goes a little bit further than most devices because it gives you a lot of these tabs at the top and there's like 15 of them and they all do different things. We'll move into that when we get a little bit more condensed view, but we wanted to show you a big scale reading experience on something that is a little bit on the larger side, the 10 plus inch realm. But you know what? This actually does work very well with smaller cell phone like appearance devices as well, like the Big Me, which is a cell phone and we're going to bring that in. Now this turns it into a little bit more of a handheld reading. So if you go to advanced, you'll notice you have something right here called volume key. If you say turn pages with volume key, now you can one hand this thing and just boom. Look at that, just swipe through it. And it's just such a snappy page turn. They don't weigh you down with animations or anything like that. Although they do have a lot of settings for things like animation, direction, LTR, RTL, and that's right to left, left to right. So if you have Japanese manga or something and you wanna go the other way, they have that for you as well. You also have general, you can change the overall appearance of it, the different levels of grayscale or sepia, etc. If you have a color unit, you can change the line spacing, you can change the font size. You can go over here and you can choose alignment, you can do font style, you have margins, you have bold, you have italicized, you have colors, you have columns, you have paragraph. It's just, there's so much here. It would take forever to show you each individual thing, but they have a ton of different things. You do have a slide animation as we showed you, and that does kind of give it a little bit of a scaling when you swipe. It 
it's in stages. If you want it to be a little bit more smooth and you have a device that's a little bit more sensitive to that, like the VWoods, like devices that don't have really super high specs, you want to leave that animation off. So it's just an instant swipe. Now you do have to be careful on devices like the Big Me, and why we show this is because of the following. If you swipe the middle and go like that, you are swiping the page. But Big Me devices and Onyx devices, you do have the ability to turn this off, but they have gesture support. So if I start my swipe over here and swipe like that, it's actually saying go back because as you can see, the buttons aren't at the bottom, the home, back, and multi buttons. You have to be very careful how you do it because if you swipe up, that's actually going to the home screen, etc. So with Book Fusion, Again, if you have a phone and you want to maybe pick up your reading. So this is how it would work, basically. Say you're out and about and you're on the train, you start reading your book like this. Well, maybe I want to move over to my e-reader when it's dark and before I go to bed because I don't want all this blue light. Even if you have blue light cut, I don't want all this blue light in my face. So I'm going to go to my e-reader right before I go to sleep. What I would then do is just simply pick up my e-reader. You have the exact same location as where you were reading on your phone. And in this case, I can turn my glow light on, maybe make it a nice candle light for when I go to sleep. I don't want it too blue and boom. Now I'm continuing reading my book. And again, I can just use those page turns and continue on my merry way. So it's nice to have something that just gives you the cross compatibility without being so device centric. So I wouldn't have to load the same book on here as I do on here. And then I'd have to find my location and look at the page number. And some apps don't use page numbers. They have location identifiers. So there's also that. You also have things like dictionary. You have your progress. You have your table of contents, which is very good. The table of contents breaks down all the individual sections. So you click on something and you go right to it. So it's honestly a pretty streamlined approach. And out of a lot of the e-reading apps we use on devices that either don't handle Google Play or don't handle the library of applications properly, you can just sideload in something like Aldeco or Book Fusion in this case, and then boom, you have access to a very high quality cross platform device. And it's platform agnostic. It doesn't matter if you have a smartphone or a tablet, as long as you can download APK files, you have the ability to use it on a phone, use it on a tablet, use it on anything you want. And it's very quick. It's very responsive. I really, there's not too many downsides with it, but in fact, they go above and beyond to give you more features than you need. And if you have something that has audio, the Big Me has audio, but the VWoods doesn't, for example, you can even do text to speech, choose your voices for just from just too many available voices and just play away. The spirit paused a moment as observing his condition Now we say it's a no Wi-Fi, no internet required app, and that is true, but there obviously are some features that do require the internet. So if you long press on something and you want to translate it or even search it in a browser, you're going to need some sort of internet to do that. Obviously, because there's nothing on board, but if you do have access to internet occasionally and that does break up your reading, that's totally fine. Otherwise, you can just read it as is, and as long as you download your books from your own cloud, on your own account, you'll have your books wherever you go. This is a free app and we don't get kickbacks or affiliate payments or anything of the sort, but it genuinely is a pretty good application. If you're looking for something for your phone, your e-reader, your e-note, or anything that supports .apk files, it will work. And you upload one thing to it one time and as long as you're logged into the same account, all of your content is going to be there. It's kind of like Google Play Books, except you can upload your own books to it. Head over to Google Play if you want to download this, and thanks for watching.